our team uh, really fought today. Um, Rutgers is a really good basketball team, really well coached. Their defense is, is um, it speaks for itself. And uh, so just really proud of so many guys that contributed. Obviously, Nick led the way, not only with scoring, but he also had six assists and one turnover. So he was making other guys better. And um, so he was obviously the catalyst in this game. But Jesse Bunting's charge down the stretch, the, the play by our four men, David Pekarik and Yvonne Rout, um, big factor. Jeff, Steve was just in here, and he, he thought that your guys out-talked his would you agree with that? Um, Rutgers is a very, very tough team, um, so I don't know that that's possible. Uh, we did talk at halftime, and we were we were down at half, so our guys did show resilience. But we talked about at halftime how Rutgers was scoring around the basket. They would pick up a loose ball and make a layup, or get a rebound and make a layup. A lot less of that happened in the second half. Coach, were you worried about that um, before this game started? Their big men were very aggressive and dominated in the first half on the glass. In the second half, you guys got control of the glass. Um, were you worried about their big men going into the Absolutely. Game? So one of the best things that Rutgers does as an offensive team, they have four elite shooters on the perimeter, and then they go offensive rebound, especially at the four and five positions. So everyone that plays Rutgers is worried about their offensive rebound. Jeff, is this a program-defining win? In it's a good win. Um, you know, it's a win that I think a lot of our players would say that they really needed. Um, so we've had some wins so far this year. We beat some local teams. Last Saturday we beat a team that, um, you know, is a rival. So our guys have done a good job competing this year. However, when the gym is full and when you're playing a team from the Big Ten and a team that's as good as Rutgers, it's, it's, a, it's a good win. Coach, what did you think of this atmosphere? The gym was full, it looked like a more sellout. It was really some of the best atmosphere that I've seen in my four years here. What did you think? Yeah, I, I agree. So um, my first year here, we played St. John's here at home and had a terrific win. And the energy in the gym that day was really, really high level. This is easily the most excited you know, our crowd has been uh, since that St. John's game. For Nick, how did you feel coming into the game, just knocking down those first two threes? Did you feel any different coming in like you were in the zone, or was it just another another day for you? Um, I would say I just put a lot of emphasis on producing and uh, just staying aggressive um, because we find a lot of success when I'm staying aggressive, and my coach trusts me and my teammates trust me. So um, I was just trying to make plays. That's all, that's all it was. Uh, question for Nick. Um, do you feel like the bigger the game, the more you thrive? Uh, I believe so. Um, just because that means that my team needs me more. Um, you have to step it up a level, especially playing a school like Rutgers, um, close in the area, in a big time school, you just gotta find a way to just raise your expectations and play harder. And I noticed with you, you play with a level of high confidence and you're so fearless. You know, how did you develop that? Where did you get from? Um, just from staying in the gym all the time, uh, working on getting my shots, floaters, everything I need to work on as a um, guard my size. Um, it always goes back to when I was younger. I was always in the gym with my dad. And he's been been with me since day one. So just staying focused, staying with him, and just staying confident. Jeff, um, the three-point shooting, I guess, difference of the game in your, in, in your mind? Both, well, both ends, defense. Yeah, so we definitely put an emphasis on guarding their shooters because all four guys are shooting it at a really high level. Um, so we did a terrific job of guarding the arc. That definitely was, was part of our success today. And then uh, the fact that Nick was able to create for other people. So obviously the shots he hit, they were huge. But the fact that other guys stepped up when they you know, paid a lot of attention to Nick, yeah, we need to shoot the ball well to win.